హలో అండ్ నమస్తే బ్లెస్డ్ బీయింగ్ మై ఫాదర్ బీయింగ్ ద ఫస్ట్ పర్సన్ హూ హ్యాడ్ ద డీపెస్ట్ ఇంపాక్ట్ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ మై మదర్ వాస్ ద పర్సన్ హూ హ్యాడ్ ది నెక్స్ట్ డీపెస్ట్ ఇంపాక్ట్ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ మై మదర్ got married at a young age 19 she she could only study up till um grade 10 because there wasn't enough money in the house to make her study any further and when she got married she came into this house a very big household she came into the house of my father who lived with his parents and with many of his sisters and and even a widowed sister who came back um to stay with her mother after she had three children and i had four siblings so we had 16 people in the house it was a small house with no bedroom seriously all it had was a living room one kitchen one toilet one bathroom and just one living room in which all the 16 of us lived we each had just one suitcase to put all our things and even the suitcases had to stay kind of stacked one on top of the other so if if i needed to take something i have to take the two other boxes on top of mine take my clothes and then again put them back in the order and she was so patient she was the the best friend for all her sisters in law and she made sure that there was no misunderstanding no disharmony in the house she never complained about anybody to my father because her role was to keep the family together not to create a crack or misunderstanding and she took the responsibility of the entire house cooked for everybody um plus took care of all her kids um so we were all growing up with a bunch of adults in the house and and i know she would have had her own dreams of how she wanted to live with her husband but here she is with so many of us all together at the time she didn't have any private time or you know she couldn't just take off and go on vacations or honeymoons and um i, I do realize how much she would have gone through um she was the best daughter in law any mother in law could hope to have and uh so she really made sure that everything went very smooth in the house and uh her name is lalita and lalita in sanskrit means graceful and she really lived true to her name and as i watched her grow to be always smiling to be to be so sacrificing to be totally considering the welfare of the people in the house and not just her own i mean she had her own dreams and and goals but she she learned to put them in the secondary but she looked at the benefit that everyone would get because of the sacrifice of one person and that indeed should have taken her lot of mental strength and courage to do that and by just watching her uh, i learned a lot and she had such a deep impact in my life through that my name is shanti from yoga for happiness.com